Hi cars lovers and welcome to the top first channel, Extreme Speed. Super Acceleration. Futuristic Design. All this about upcoming Tesla Model S 2023. The Tesla Model S is the original king of the electric sedan category. It wasn't the first all-electric car, but it was one of the first electric vehicles to make EVs look cool and sell to the general public. How does the 2023 Model S stack up to its competition? Can a design that's over 10 years old at this point truly keep up with the cutting edge of electric vehicle tech? For starters, Tesla hasn't changed much on the Model S, which was since the 2021 Model S with that out in the open. We'll go over some highlights of what the current Model S is working with in the powertrain department. Standard issue on the 2023 Tesla Model S is a dual motor, a WD variant making about 670 HP. The standard version of the Model S in 2023 is essentially a carryover from the 2022 Model S long range. It appears that the only change is dropping the long range part of the name. Buyers should expect an EPA estimated 405 miles miles of range on the base Model S in 2023. By the way, Tesla has confirmed that the Model S is now the fastest four-door sedan to lab Laguna Seca. On Wednesday, Tesla CEO tweeted out that a Model S had set a lap record at Laguna Seca Raceway in Texas, but didn't provide much else in terms of details. Just that a video would be forthcoming. On Thursday, Tesla released that video showing a Model S lap the track in a blistering 1 minute 30 seconds and 30 milliseconds minutes. Tesla says this beats the previous record for a four-door car by a full second. This move appears to be a response to Porsche's record at the Nürburgring last August when they took a production model Taycan Turbo S and set a new lap record for a four-door EV. While Musk praised the Taycan's design and achievements, he also poked a bit of fun at the name, saying that Turbo appears to be misused in the Taycan. As if 670 HP is a small number, things really start to heat up when you upgrade to the Tesla Model S Plaid version. The Plaid comes in as the most powerful, most exciting sedan that Tesla has to offer. Power is up 350 from the standard car, thanks to a tri-motor design that features intelligent torque vectoring. If you haven't done the math yet, that's a whopping 1020 HP for the Model S Plaid, enough power to make it one of the quickest production cars available. Model S Plaid range has near no trade-off from the standard model. The Plaid can still do 396 miles on a full charge. In 2012, the first Tesla Model S shock testers with a sub 4 second 60 time and a quarter mileette in the mid-12s. Those early 85 kilowatt hours performance models came with 416 HP and much less refinement than the 2023 Model S. As for the current Model S, the 670 HP standard model comes with a 100 kilowatt hours battery and does the 60 run in just 3.1 seconds. Top speed on the Model S is 149 miles per hour. Much like the initial surprise that the Model S made when originally released, the Tesla Model S Plaid shocked the car world when it came out in 2021. We've all become used to the gut-wrenching 60 times that current EVs can put down, and the Tesla Model S is firmly part of this camp. The Plaid, however, is on another level. Tesla claims a 1.99 second 60 time for the Model S Plaid which is quick enough to put it among some very fast rivals. But what about the storage? The Tesla Model S is actually a hatchback, and that means there's lots of rear cargo space, plus a bonus front trunk that's easy to access and take advantage of. It features far more cargo space than many rivals, EV or not. The split rear seats fold flat, opening up the space even more. Storage up front is much improved compared to prior years of the Model S. There's a variety of sliding and retracting compartments that better help to organize all your stuff up front. The cup holders still lack an anti-tip design and don't hold drinks all that well, but there are also now door pockets, 
which means not everything has to go in the center console storage space. Getting a car seat in and out is relatively easy. The doors open wide, though the anchors seem to be buried a little deeper than usual. The lack of headroom might be a bit of an issue when installing a seat. And how is the tech? Having Google Maps built in continues to be one of the better navigation experiences, but it's not without issues. In areas of spotty service, you'll either have a slow refreshing map or no map at all. But having the power of Google search in the car is a huge convenience. Not to mention it looks great on a 17-inch touch screen. The Plaid's 22-speaker sound system is also quite awesome and can push out loud yet rich sound through the cabin. Though Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration has become pervasive in the industry, Tesla still doesn't offer either system. The Bluetooth system offers just one phone connection at a time, while on some other cars you can connect additional devices. At least there are ample options for keeping your device us charged up with four wireless chargers, four USB-C ports, and one USB-A port. As far as driving aids go, no advanced driving aid system is better known than Tesla's Autopilot. It works great in slow moving and stop and go traffic, but it seems to be more easily spooked or confused on roads that aren't clearly marked or are lined with parked cars on the shoulder. Tesla has a tendency to release new features in beta phase 2, making you the guinea pig. This underdeveloped approach feels half-baked. Along with the complete redesign of the Model S in 2021, Tesla made some significant interior changes to the Model S that carry on into the 2023 model. Up front lives a giant center display with all the signature Tesla features we've all become accustomed to, games, vehicle info, movies while parked, of course, etc. The only thing still missing from the system is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability, something that buyers may find surprising if they are new to the Tesla game. Another surprising feature for many is the yoke steering wheel found in the Model S Plaid. Unlike most vehicles on the road, Tesla has decided to change up the way we interact with the Model S, opting for an airplane-style yoke steering wheel as opposed to, well, an actual steering wheel. Love it or hate it, it appears that it's here to stay. The manufacturer has already carried it over to the new Model X Plaid. Unlike the smaller, more cost-effective Model 3, the Model S also has an actual gauge cluster in front of the steering wheel, something that buyers transitioning from more traditional luxury sedans might find more appealing. Beyond the tech, the inside of the Model S is mostly what one would expect. Although the interior is often called sparse by many, there are few complaints about a lack of features. Most tend to find that the interior quality, however, is a bit lackluster for a car that costs as much as the Model S does. As with all current Tesla models, the Model S is currently available for purchase with a significant lead time in production. The standard Model S has a starting price of $104,990 before federal tax incentives and an expected wait time of up to four months. A fully loaded standard Model S can cost close to $130,000. The full self-driving capability comes in at a hefty $15,000 price tag. If you're looking for the most performance, expect to shell out about $136,000 for a Plaid with no options. Luckily, you'll have less of a wait for the Plaid. Currently, the lead time is less than two months. Fully optioned, the Model S Plaid can reach $160,000. Although not a bargain by any stretch of the term, one could argue that there isn't a better acceleration per dollar rate than a Model S Plaid in 2022. What do you think about fast version of Tesla cars? Share with your opinion in comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to be in touch with newest cars news.